This is the Farms.com Soybean Report brought to you by Dow Seeds. Dow Seeds, leaders in customer-first technology. Hi, I'm Holly Lucas. Uh, I'm an agronomist with Dow Seeds. Um, we're here at the Outdoor Farm Show um, and we're going to talk about choosing a soybean variety. Uh, this is a great place to come if you want to see um, the different soybean varieties in the soil. All of the companies are here. Um, we all have our products on display and you can talk to uh, any of the sales reps or the agronomists are all here. Um, but aside from that, not everybody can get here and I know you guys are busy. Um, best thing to do when you're looking for a soybean variety is to, is to look either at the websites or the seed guide. Um, because we all put our agronomic information in the seed guide. Um, it's important for, to give you guys the information you need um, to choose the best variety. Um, they're all listed in here. Obviously you want to stick to your heat units um, and have the maturity you want. If you're going to get uh, plant wheat afterwards, you want an early bean for your maturity so it matures um, quickly and you can harvest it, get, get your wheat planted. So you want to look for some agronomics um, for your beans. You want to um, look for your height, I guess first would be one of the first things you want to look at. If you're on a loamy soil, um, you don't want a really tall bean that's going to get lanky and lots of branches on it um, because they do tend to lean, um, they may lodge on you. Um, so you want to stick to like a medium type plant. Um, there's other things we list too. Um, if you're in anything lower than a 2.0 maturity or even that 1.7, um, you should look for an SCN, soybean cyst nematode resistant variety. Um, there's a lot of nematodes in the area, especially on the lighter soils, but they do move into the heavier soils. So um, you definitely want to bean with SCN resistance if you're in the later maturity. Um, if you're on the lighter soil in an earlier maturity, um, anything like a 0.9, um, it's something you might want to look at. Um, and if you're getting your soil tested or you know you have nematodes, um, that's one thing to look for. And again, we all list any of these this information um, actually in our, in our seed guide. Um, other than that, there's some general disease tolerances. Um, if you know you're going to plant early, um, then you want a really good emerger that's going to come up quick and get growing quickly. Um, other than that, the, the uh, you know your other two options are if you want to grow conventional, you want to go Roundup. We're here in our conventional plot right now. Um, if you want to. Uh, you know, grow conventional beans, um, or if that's part of your rotation, um, that's an option as well as the Roundup Readies. Um, there's lots of different traits out there um, that you can use um, to get your maximum yields. Um, so another thing you can look at, um, we do list our seed size, so making sure you have your seed size set up for your planter in the spring is always important. Um, a lot of information in this guide that you can use um, to make sure you're going to get the best planting you have. Um, you also, you're going to have a plan when you're ordering your seed um, and setting up for your crop that that year. Um, so if you're choosing maturities based on you know your area um, and your heat units, make sure you're sticking with that plan and um, and going with your and planting those in the soil type um, that you planned on. If you're going to make any changes, um, it's always good to either consult the seed guide or talk to um, your salesperson, your dealer, um, just to make sure you're going to get that that variety of soybeans on the best spot you can in your field. Um, and if you ever have any questions, obviously your agronomist um, or your salespeople um, with Dow Seeds, we can always come and, and help you choose a variety. This has been the Farms.com Soybean Report, brought to you by Dow Seeds. Dow Seeds, leaders in customer-first technology.